Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Farming A. I discovered that my field is, I discovered that my field is crooked. So I'm gonna be cutting some more trees back there and uh, probably gonna, probably gonna go uh, probably 50 yards, 50 yards from uh, that tree there. And then I'm gonna go 100, uh, 300, or yeah, 50 yards and then uh, 100 yards that way. So the idea is that uh, I should end up with a, uh, uh, an acre of uh, a field that goes from east to west, so it'll maximize sunlight on it. So I thought I was done with this field, but still a lot of work to do. <laughs> yep. So you all see me cut trees before, but I'm just gonna go into a little bit more detail on how I cut trees. So one of the first things I do is I look at the tree to see how it's leaning. Not that it matters because I want it to go that way. If it doesn't go that way naturally, then I'm gonna go get my wedges and I'm gonna make it go that way. So what I'm gonna show you today, sometimes I, I, I I go from a conventional cut to an open face. So conventional cut is one slice this way and then flat. Open face is one slice this way and like that. So yeah, let's get to it. Conventional cut. No, let's get a close up of this to show you. All right. So, conventional cut. This one's a little deeper than I would have liked, but normally it should be 30% of the tree. And uh, now I'm going to try and aim for 10% hinge. So the hinge should go to all the way here, see? About maybe an inch, an inch and a half. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my back cut. I go part way with my back cut, then I check to see how far I've gone on the other side just to make sure that I don't uh, weaken the hinge on the one side, then the tree's gonna twist towards me. So I'm almost where I wanna be here. I'm gonna just cut a little bit more. <laughs> So now 
I've done my back cut, but the tree doesn't want to go. I'm going to use my can hook. This was one of the first purchases I made was buying this can hook. Super useful. So what you saw there was total control of the direction of the tree. I've got a really nice face cut here, I'll show you. Or a, a really nice cut here, and I'll show you the hinge wood. So there's that also oh nice hinge wood. I got my inch, inch and a half there. Tree came down nice, nice. I got about 30% in the front, and then I got 60% in the back with 10% hinge wood. So I'm no professional, I didn't take courses in this stuff, I just watched YouTube. Um, there's a couple of great videos that I'll link um, that I really enjoyed that were very informative and taught me a lot. And uh, I got a good friend of mine, John McNaughton, he's a farmer, and uh, he's uh, giving me a lot of uh, a lot of knowledge on on how to cut trees and what to watch for and how to be careful and stay safe so that's how i cut trees now we're gonna keep cutting yep I'm not gonna fight this one. He wants to lean this way super hard. He's got a lot of weight up top that's aiming this way, so we're gonna move the camera. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
So I cleared a lot of trees today. Um, I didn't get a chance to, to do any cleanup. I still have to get rid of that whole set of trees over there. All those trees right there have to go. And I gotta square, square the field up. And then I still have to go way over there to clear an entire acre. I'm only gonna have like a third of an acre cleared once I get these trees all settled up. A lot of hard work, it's gonna pay off. I'm tired. <laughs> I put in, I was out here since uh, 10 a.m. And um, just uh, 20 to seven right now. So I'm, before I get hurt, I gotta call it quits. But next time we'll be clearing trees, stacking them in the pile. And uh, hopefully I'll have a field to till. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and uh, click that notification bell to be alerted when new videos are available and uh, we'll see you all in a, in a little bit yep mm -hmm.